Ready? Are you ready, flip flop I man? I am flip flop. Okay, guys, welcome back. And we got a package today. We got a package. Yeah, I kind of got a little peep in it, but you know what? I don't know. I think this guy probably got ripped off because he paid too little for this bike. Way too little. And I go, you know what? You always get what you pay for. So uh, I haven't seen this. He said, well, put it together for me and let me know. Uh, here we go, guys. Let's hope uh, this is good. So it looks like right here, what we got right here. Oh, GT Tri-Blade Mags. Okay. So my guess is that this is something like around the late 90s. Um, dino stem. This does not... I don't think this I don't think this is a dino. Is this a dino? I don't think this is a dino, guys. But it has a dino stem. Oh, GT. Dino stem. See, that's why I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this guy really got got the what he what he got. What? I mean it looks like it looks like a, like a 1980 no 1997. You've been GT wrong performer. before. I know, I know. You guys keep reminding me. And you know what? I've only had one one beer. So I'll tell you right now, just off from the top of my head, unboxing it says built in America. This one was not made in America, was one of the one that's after, but it looks like it's all there. It looks like it's actually really uh, good. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mention how much he paid for it because that's his that's that's his own personal business. But he actually got a really good price for this, so that's why I thought it might have been a scam. It might have been one of those like you know beat up one, but it's actually really good condition. But guys, this is a new sticker. This is not US made. Whatever I see here is exactly what you guys are seeing. This is the first time I've seen it too. Usually when there's a reflector, there's a good sign that the bike is authentic. See, look at that guys. Not cracked, a little scuff, non, is non bent. So, so far so good. I would say this guy did really well considering how much he paid for this thing. Hey, believe it or not, I do better when there's like nobody here. And when I know there's there's people standing there watching me, a little bit more timid, a little bit more controlled. Good sign there's no crack, no crimp, no hammer mark. So that's actually really good. So, man, I'm pretty excited. Undo this whole thing and see how this thing goes. Let me see. Hey, man, make you so useful, man. Give me a Phillips. Do something instead of standing there. Just hold it. Huh? Mr. Phillips. Hey, why is it called Phillips? This is designed by some dude named Phillips? Michael Philippe in England, 1968. Really? No. <laughs> I never knew that Japan, they have their own specs of Phillips, which is not called Phillips, called like JIS spec. It's, it's almost like this, except it's not flat. Mm. I never knew that. Oh. Hey, 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 would you ladies keep it down over there? Come on, come on. Talk about your manicure color and everything. Ooh, look at that. It's actually an original sticker. Wow, it's pretty sick. It even came with some Odyssey Pitbull. These aren't stock, guys. Normally stock, they'll have brakes up here. So this thing came with some Pitbulls. The Pitbulls are in pretty decent condition. The uh, the wheels are not all scuffed up. Original tires, you could tell. Right here, these are not the Repop. So this thing is really, really like a lot of cool stuff. The only thing that's bothered me is that built in America sticker. So guys, some of you guys has, has been uh, kind of DMing the Epic account with a bunch of your guys' personal uh, BMX photo collection. Dude, that's so sick. I'm gonna try to share them as much as possible. Okay guys, look at this. What do you guys think? The color is a little scuff. You know, there's, there's no rust. That's like very, very minimal rust. I would say, dude, this is the real deal, man. Yeah, props to him. They're real good. So what we are going to do with this is these are the original wheels right here. Okay, he wants me to put GT Power Bite. So basically what, what I could see what he's trying to do. He's trying to make this into like a team model. I don't know if you guys know the difference between a team model. So bikes that, bikes that usually come, they come in stages. They come with the novice one. They come with the, the mid one, and then the mid one usually have the one piece crank with average parts, but the team model is usually the mid model with three piece cranks, better brakes, better components. So that's what this gentleman's trying to do. I can see it now. 
He wants to make it into a team model. And I guess he wants to put these on. What do you guys think? These tri-blades or these? I'm picking these. I like these better than tri-blade. So here, here is, here's a good opportunity for, see, for us to see. So this one right here has that line. It has a line. The word is a little bit fatter. It's a little bit fatter than, uh, than the new one. You can see the difference. The word's a little bit fatter. The couple of details, but other than that, it's the same. But OG one, dude. Believe it or not, guys, this tire is this kind of beat up. Still holds air, still got the logo. There are people that is willing to pay top dollar for these. It's crazy. And this one right here is the dirt one. So that's not the original tire. I would imagine it spins, what guys, this way? Or chopping forward. Get to the lube part. I'm excited, look, see? You know the most crucial time is the lube part, all right? Soon, gonna be available, the Epic Lube. Right along with the chili. The Epic Lube, we're gonna start selling Epic Lube. All purpose. Edible, <laughs> fast, <laughs> spicy. <laughs> Everything you've ever wanted in lube. Everything in a lube. Why is it spicy? <laughs> You're supposed to ingest it. God, dude, my kid just got it. My kid just got an F. Put on some of the Epic Lube. Oh, I'm look. telling you, lube boo. <laughs> look, dad, let's just be friends. Who gets half a beer and him? He gets real feisty. <laughs> See, guys, I told you, these are way better than those. I like these. You guys comment. I want to see what you guys think. I mean, is it sacrilegious to like change? You know, the OG, sacrilegious. Man, that's that's a powerful word, man. Dad, I like it going the other way. I just think you you could probably get another couple of miles, miles per hour with it going that way versus this. This is cutting in the wind. Yep. You might be, that's why all you guys that have these are a little late to school Put sometimes. Put your best flag forward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what? You know what? What are these? Ah. Ah. But you know what? No, I'm not gonna use these. What are you doing? Mm. Oh. Dude. Everybody, everybody watching, unrelated. This is the secret to make your grips feel good off the bat. Ooh. Don't rip them though, because you can't. Hey, do that again, do that again. Wow, wow. So, guys, we got the wheels on there. Dude, I'm telling you, nine day difference compared to those. And I'm not saying those are ugly and those are, are like cheap or crap. It's just my style. The tri-blade versus this. Oh, I gotta stop saying tri-blade. This guy's on the tri-blade gang. Hey. Hey, sorry, you. man. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But, guys, it, I, I think it looks hundred times better. So now check this out. We're gonna take out the one piece crank and we're gonna swap it out for these buttes. I'm gonna really quickly go through this, but if you guys wanna see a detailed way of doing this, go back. I did do a, a video on how to swap out one piece crank versus three piece. So check that out. But right now I'm gonna do really quick. So here we go. So you guys always wonder why I got long dirty fingernail. So you could catch it like this and work on it. See? Um, uh, yeah, I think so. I, th I think this is. I'm taking this off carefully because uh, it feels like it was uh, original. You know, whoever was working on it prior knew what they were doing. You know, unlike me. Guys, these right now, due to the inflation, uh, these were originally MSRP for about 200. If you can get your hand on this, which we can't, they go for about 300. The original, original one, NOS in the box. It's about $2,000 if you could find a set, okay? So no, these are not. If they were, I would probably be crying, you know, because they, it would be so sick. Need a haircut, man. Huh? Need a haircut. Well, actually, you know what, guys? I got a personal bet with somebody right now, so uh, if I lose, I gotta cut this into a mullet. No, 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 it's not Hucker, but Hucker actually did inspire it. Hucker was around. So, if you guys see me in an Asian mullet, that means I lost. Billy Ray, Cyrus. Billy Ray Cyrus. Oh! Why'd you move the bike? <laughs> Ow! God damn it! He's trying to help, bro. Dude, stop! 
Hey, hey, hey would it be wrong? It wouldn't be wrong if I call like a Gook Ray Cyrus. <laughs> the sprocket. He likes the way the sprocket looks on there. There's a couple of options out there, but you know what? Again, guys, I've always stressed. There's no wrong way when it comes to fashion. So the guy with none. I, I and there's nothing wrong with that. There's <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Good answer. No, I'm scared. He's going the wrong way. Yeah, I'm scared because he's like jinxing it. Probably one of the hardest parts to take off. You guys don't even know. I had to cut. I had to tell him cut. Look at all this mess. We went through. Look at the tools. I'm doing it by myself. I asked Ethan, hey Ethan, give me a hand. That just tells you guys sometimes the leverage and just the extra person holding it makes a huge difference. So remember guys, as many times as I do this, I'll admit to you guys, I'm pretty dumb at it. The inside here is counterclockwise to take it out. And I know the next one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna forget it again. Why? I don't know, I'm just old man. I suck at a lot of stuff. Well, that, that's, that came out all wrong. No, you know what guys? I go and I do all these videos and stuff like that. I never claim to be the best. You guys, you guys are telling me I'm the best. I appreciate it, but I'm not the best. I'm only here to give you guys my two cents. Sometimes three cents. I got this lube all over my hand, Alf. What do I do? What do I do? What do you guys think of uh, that uh, the restoration on that mirror we did? You know what? Uh, I'm sorry if I if I if I forgot your name because I'm not in front of me. But there was a a uh, one of our uh, followers. He sent us a picture. That was that was pretty good. He did a really really good job. Um, props to him. But again, guys, we're all here to help each other. There's a couple guys on here that are like, oh, you guys, you know what, man? If you can't contribute to helping each other out and all you do is make comments and stuff like that, you know what? You probably do restore bikes better than us. You probably build bikes better. You probably ride better than us. But you know what? I don't see you doing nothing out there. I just hear you guys talking. So, show us what you got. And you can talk all you want. So I'm out here, I'm just doing what I can, what I'm capable of. Same thing with Alf. You know what, Alfie's out there. Dude, you're, you guys ever you guys ever see the car that Alf work on? He's not out there saying people's cars are slow and crap and stuff like that, no. Because you know what, usually people that are capable of, they never diss other people. So some of you guys out there kind of hating, it's all good, man. You, can, you got the right to hate on anything you want, but if you think you could do better, you might do something. Put up put up a channel and uh, help some of the people out there. Bottom bracket. Guys, somebody that came in and asked me the, uh, earlier, could I make one of these? You guys can. This right here, you go to Home Depot or Lowe's and get yourself just a huge uh, threaded uh, spindle, big washers, the axle nuts like this, and the handle like this, you don't even need it. All you need to do is put a big wrench on here and tighten it. And then you got yourself a bearing press. There's nothing high tech about this. I could feel how firm the bearing is going in. That tells me that the frame itself hasn't been completely like taken apart and messed with and just toy with. So the frame is very, very healthy. I apologize. I cannot disclose how much he got it for because that's his own personal business. If you guys bring stuff here, and I'm putting together stuff for you guys, I am not gonna go and tell people. So guys, we're gonna put on the sprocket. Now keep in mind guys, this is the hat washer. This right here is a, is a 24 mil. This spindle is a 22 mil. This hat washer, again guys, I've covered all this. You have to track back and look at some of the videos I did. I'll show, but I'm gonna show you one more time. This is a 22 mil hat washer. Now if you guys look at how deep this is once I put this one in, See how it sticks out? It's not gonna work, no go, no go. This washer right over this, see how I did that? And put it right over this, it's gonna go inside. And then now watch, when I put this one in, it's mm -hmm. flush, but enough to center it. Where'd you find that washer? This washer is basically a uh, 22 mil uh, washer, just from an, like another set of cranks. Go to your local bike shop, your local bike shop don't have one of these things then stop going there because they don't know what they're talking about. So now I put it in, it's flush, it's center. The spacing is a little bit more now. So I remove the spacer that's right here. That is normally, this normally goes right here. 
okay? But I'm not using this because I have to have the extra washer in there. So I'm gonna pull it out, replace that. Boom, right there. R for right. The old Johnny Depp thing is a joke. You don't think she did what she did? You know what? I wouldn't doubt Johnny Depp's probably gonna come out with some movie now because he, he, they got the hype. Yeah, oh yeah. Dude, that guy's yeah. savage. That guy's so. Dude. I'm gonna do something with your throat. Huh? That's what he said. Dude. So guys, one of the key thing I want you guys to, to to remember, I'm gonna look at the spacer. See this right here? There's a lot of space over here. This side, there's a little bit less. So. I know because I was the one that tightened this side. There's still a little bit of room for me to pull that spindle over there. You always want the spindle to be a little bit below. That's the one it compressed. If not, that's the problem where some of you guys tighten it up and the crank's a little bit loose or the sprocket is a little bit loose. Because when you tighten it, you bottom out on the spindle. You need to take out and put a little bit of spacer in here. The Jane, the Jane. Locke, I know you're watching. I know, you come on. What do you guys think? The gold Jane. What do you guys think? Ah, uh, you know what? It's just me, guys. Remember, this is not wrong. I would go with I would go with uh, chrome. It's because I believe old school and chrome. It just it just goes well together. Some little slurp. You gotta admit, a lot of the old school. This thing's coming together pretty nice. Ooh, I'm into these. Look, guys, Survivor grips. They're actually not gummed up. Yeah, this is a must. That bike has to have lived indoors. Right? Yeah, I, I agree. What do you guys think, guys? Some of you guys out there, some of you like like hardcore guys out there, you guys gotta look. All this. The e tires even even, the, some, even the, original, the original tires right there, this thing was kept indoor. Air conditioned. Yeah. <laughs> 73 degrees every day. Yeah, right? So, that's pretty great. Would you guys agree with Al that this thing has been indoor? Guys, this is original paint. This is the original paint. Almost everything's original. And he got it first. Okay, look. All, all I'm gonna tell you guys is, he got this for under a thousand. Whoever took a photo did a really good job of it, but it's 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 really nice, guys. Probably would have been done quicker if Alf didn't brought them here. Yes, Alf, I'm gonna blame you. Do it. It's always Alf's fault, guys. Remember that. Anything that go wrong, it's Al's fault. It's one of those things where like, you know, like you make a shot and you're like, Kobe, anytime you gotta do something wrong, Alf. Or that was when you were always paranoid that someone was gonna trick you or prank you or do something. Oh. You thought I was around. Yeah. No, I still do. I still do. Earlier, early, I, I forgot what I was eating. I go, dude, this thing tastes weird. And you're here. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Guys, you gotta even know the, 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 the PTSD I have with this guy. Okay? This guy right here, okay? He, when it comes to pranking, he doesn't care. He'll prank his mom, dude. He doesn't care. Like he takes, he takes pride in his pranking and he doesn't care. He, he will prank anybody. You guys don't even know the trauma, the trauma I go through having this guy around when he was young, anything. Dude, when I go to the bathroom, I have to like just double, I have to lock the bathroom and everything. Cause you don't know if he's gonna come barging in. Did I get chilly in your eye not that long ago? He's always doing something, dude. What was that? Was that my Tinder? Your blink. Was that my Tinder? Nah, someone's breaking into your house. Watch, watch, watch right here. Boom! That door, did you see that? Yeah, yeah. Watch, 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 watch. You never got back up. Boom! <laughs> this is probably one of the best, guys. Wow. Some of you guys are like, eh, so what? Hey, guys. I think these guys are actually really hard to find, and he found a really good condition one. I really like th this customer because, you know what? Before he bought things, he came here and he asked us, what do you guys think? You know, he a customer or was he a fan of the channel? Uh, he's a, he's definitely a fan of the channel, but he was, he was, he was smart about it. And so like, Hey, you know what? I know everything. I was like this, I don't need your guy. No, 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 no. This guy, he went and he asked us all the right questions, did all the right thing. Oh, last one, foo. Uh, got that right there. Uh, from Japan not too long ago. I got these pedals on guys. You got to admit these pedals look really proper on this. If you guys, you guys ever work on these side pull brakes, you guys also know we got it all dialed. It's smooth. It's all lubed up. But notice, only one side's pulling. Okay, real easy, guys. If you guys look right here, this is actually like a flat nut right here. All right. All you do, 
is you put number 13 and watch carefully. You gotta step back, you gotta step back out. Look, it's pulling one side. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna pull just a little bit. Look at that guys, notice, see it's starting to pull both. Just turn that thing, you don't have to loosen any of this stuff. So what do you guys think? This is it. You gotta be honest with you guys. From the very beginning when the customer called me up, he sent me a couple photos and said, hey, this is, I'm thinking about getting this bike. The seller's only asking this much. I look at it and I go, you know what? From the picture, the bike looks, looks like a great deal, but it's too good of a deal. Be like repainted, restickered. There might be a bunch of stuff that, that it's just wonky about it. So I really thought he was gonna get ripped off, but I, but I didn't want to tell him that. Um, then he said, you know, he wants to kind of spruce it up. What should he do? He said, you know what? Let's make this into a team model. Uh, the team model, what it is, is like three piece crank, some platform pedals, make it a little bit better. He did a great job. He did a great job. He got all the parts I told him and the bike came and you guys saw it. I unwrapped it and I got to see it the same time you guys did. And the bike is actually ridiculously good condition, original paint. Original stickers. I like I like the direction he went with the, the mags. Uh, a lot better than the Tri. Uh, the bike came out really good. The grip's not original, but I like that he throws it in there. Upgraded the wheels with the Tomahawks. These are the GT, these are current GT Repop tires. Extremely hard to get. Those are the one he, he upgraded. But other than that, guys, frame, fork, all the seat, seat post, seat clamp, those are all original, guys. I gotta, I gotta hand it to you. I was wrong, this bike, you know, the customer did good. I really thought he was gonna get ripped off. Uh, I really thought some of the idea he, he wanted to, to do was, you know, we're not gonna look good, but he did well, he did well. What do you guys think? Comment in, was this bike done good? Uh, he got this bike without the cranks, without the wheels, with the tri-wheels, for well under a thousand. All together, what you see here, he spent maybe a little bit over a thousand, including the crank pedals. So, what do you guys think? Was this one hell of a deal? Did he, did he find one of those barnyard finds? You guys comment in. What'd you guys think? Give me some pointers. There's something I missed out on the bike that I was, I was uh, wrong. But guys, I uh, appreciate you guys checking in. Some of you guys have uh, commented in and kind of corrected what I said about the last one. Guys, I welcome all that stuff, okay? So guys, thank you very much. Subscribe, like. And uh, until next time.